Introducing the NMC Horizon Report 2014 Higher Education Edition. The report is a collaboration between the New Media Consortium and the Educause Learning Initiative and is available for download now. The report highlights six technologies or practices likely to enter the mainstream within the next five years, as well as six key trends and significant challenges. You'll notice that the Horizon Report has had a bit of a makeover. The new format is a bit longer, a bit taller, and now both foregrounds and highlights the trends and challenges in a major way. This year's key trends accelerating higher education technology adoption are placed along three horizons as well. Fast trends, like growing ubiquity of social media and integration of online, hybrid, and collaborative learning. Mid-range trends, such as the rise of data-driven learning and assessment, and the shift from students as consumers to students as creators. And the long-range trends, agile approaches to change and the evolution of online learning. Each of these trends, hand-selected by our expert panel, are very likely to drive technology planning and decision-making over the next five years. The report then goes into significant challenges in higher education technology adoption. From the solvable challenges to difficult and even wicked challenges, which are complex to define and address. Finally, the report takes a look at the adoption timelines that you know and love. Near, mid, and far-term horizon adoption timelines for educational technology developments. Let's take a quick look at each of those technologies now. In the near-term horizon, the flipped classroom and learning analytics. The flipped classroom is a model of learning that rearranges how time is spent both in and out of class to shift the ownership of learning from educators to the students. Class time is more active, project-based, and students solve real-world applications to gain a deeper understanding of the subject. Learning analytics is an educational application of big data. Education is embarking on a pursuit into data science with the aim of improving student retention and providing high-quality personalized experiences for learners. In the two to three year adoption timeline, 3D printing and games and gamification. 3D printing refers to technologies to construct physical objects from 3D digital content, building tangible models and prototypes one layer at a time. The most significant aspect of 3D printing for education is that it enables more authentic exploration of objects not readily available to universities, such as fragile artifacts, fossils, or minerals. Games and gamification has continued to grow on all levels, and educational gameplay has proven to foster engagement in critical thinking, creative problem solving, and teamwork, skills that lead to solutions for complex social and environmental dilemmas. In the far-term horizon, or four to five years from adoption, quantified self and virtual assistants. Quantified self describes the phenomenon of consumers being able to closely track data that is relevant to their daily activities through the use of technology. For example, tracking daily activity, sleep, or eating habits through wearable devices and mobile apps. It's imaginable that test scores and reading habits gleaned from learning analytics could be combined with other lifestyle tracking information and reveal how environmental changes improve learning outcomes. Virtual assistants are a credible extension of work being done with natural user interfaces. Mobile examples include Apple's Siri and Android's Jelly Bean. While students are already integrating this technology into their personal lives, most institutions have yet to explore this technology's potential outside of research settings. All of these technologies are explored in this year's report, along with a discussion of its relevance to teaching, learning, and creative inquiry, curated project examples, and recommendations for further reading. Download your copy of the report now at go.nmc.org slash 2014-HIED.